Yo, what's going on guys? I'm going to test a new uh, uh, feature mark, uh, Speedway DirectX 12 uh, benchmark uh, with my recently acquired Asus Strix RTX 4090. And I just uh, did the same overclock I did with my previous review of the card. So I did 130 MHz uh, core overclock, power element raised to 120, and memory additional 1100 MHz. And my i9 12900KS is at uh, 5.3 GHz all core overclock. And I'm running uh, 32 gigabytes of G-Skill uh, DDR5 uh, memory. Those are the timings. And the GPU stats are here. Resizable bar is enabled, of course. And there's uh, the clock speeds. And boost uh, 2740. But I still haven't reached my 3000 megahertz. So at some point in time, I'll try to tweak settings to uh, uh, reach 3000 megahertz. So that's my, one of my goals to uh, do. So I'm going to run this live. I'm just going to record it on my phone because I obviously I don't want to use uh, Shadow Play to record it because it's going to uh, lower frames per second. So we're just going to watch the benchmark. And I got the case currently closed right now. One person wanted to ask uh, how the card fits uh, in terms of the cable uh, with my case closed. And I do have enough clearance uh, to have the cable uh, not touch the window. But it is pretty close. Uh, uh, but it does have enough clearance that I don't really have the cable a bit too much because then it's very sensitive uh, uh, power cable for the ASUS Strict RX 4090 with that new uh, PCI uh, connection. And I do plan to get a better uh, power supply. I've already got a 1300 watt plot and power supply. At this point in time, I'll upgrade to uh, the actual 3.0 ATX uh, Gen 5 uh, power supply. Okay, so it's currently loading, and then uh, we will uh, show the frames per second, uh, temperatures, I'll show a coil line, and we'll see how everything sits. So, sitting at 240 megahertz. And looks like we're pulling about 443 watts there. And I'm running a, a Acer Predator 4K 144 hertz uh, display. Which I recently got at Micro Center, and uh, it's a pretty nice display. It's about a thousand dollars retail, brand new, but it's a pretty nice display. Nice, nice uh, colors and color accuracy. Uh, I don't use HDR because uh, I just have issues with it when I'm running uh, my um, video editing software. My first time running the test, I'm literally running this live with you guys, so. Here's the card here, no coil line. And we're going to see the score live. 10,625. Okay, very good. So I just wanted to show you that test, and uh, of course I will try to do more videos with the Easy Strikes Hard Check for you. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you, I'm going to show this in the video. Whenever I have my uh, computer powered off, uh, there's an LED that lights up on the card uh, when the card is off, when the PC is off. So I'm going to show you that next. And I just want to have a question. If anybody else with the Asus Strix RTX 4090 also running a power supply like me uh, with these adapters, if you have the red LED. So give me one second, let me turn off my PC, and then we'll uh, show you the LED. Give me one moment. Okay, so I'm going to power off the computer now, and then we will show you the LED that lights up uh, oops, on my display. And it's right here where the LED lights up uh, on the graphics card. And I just want to know if anybody else running Asus Trix has that uh, worth their card. So just that single one LED. And I'll previously seen Asus Trix cards uh, when you had an LED light up and the card was off, it meant that you're not getting enough power. But I'm not sure if it's because I'm not running the new um, PCI uh, Gen 5 slash AGX 3.0 power supply, which I do plan to get next month. CSONX is releasing a, a new one uh, next month, but uh, I don't know if that's uh, the issue or not. But if anybody else has that LED light up on their uh, car, just let me know. And uh, just curious. So thanks. Peace out. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support.